They said it wouldn't last. And they were right. <laughs> Episode 6. Spooky music. I'm Marty Fields. I'm Ken Murdoch. Hi, Ken. How are you? Hey, I'm all right. I'm very excited about today's band. The Eagles. Oh, the Eagles. Damn, I thought it was going to be the Beagles. All right, that's cool. <laughs> Haven't done the right research. I'll recalibrate. <laughs> okay. By okay. the way, not only is it that, mm. not only we're we talking about, by the way, we're not doing um, what we're going to do, the movie Cinderella Man. We're not doing it. We're not? No, I had to take it back to the video shop. Okay. So we're going to do a movie you haven't seen mm. called mm. Uh, Captain Phillips. Tom Hanks. Ah. Yeah, we'll okay. talk about that later. All okay. Right. Now. Is that where he's the guy who runs? Well, he does do some running in the movie, but I don't think that's the... Oh, no, that's Forrest Gump. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. No, totally different movie. Okay. Different movie. Um, Is this where he goes, Wilson? No, that's... Um, Castaway. That's Castaway, yeah. Mm. Okay, not that either. It's not the one where he marries a mermaid. No, that's... Splash. I married a mermaid. Splash. <laughs> Splash. <laughs> Daryl Hannah. Daryl Hannah. What a career. Whoa. Did you see her in Mermaid? She's cast, typecast. What about her measurements? 34, 32, 399 a kilo. <laughs> There's some girl. Back to today's bands. Now, I say, we're, so we're not, not doing the Beagles. No. We're Eagles. doing the Eagles. Uh, but do you, do you know what week this is? Uh, it's Christmas week. It's Christmas week. Yeah. Uh, and it's also... It's, it's Ken Needs Piano Lessons Week. It's your death march. <laughs> what the hell is that? That was happy birthday. That was really? really? That's happy birthday Oh, I see what you're doing. doing. There's no uh, copyright on this. Happy birthday to you. Who happy does happy birthday and be flat? I used to, actually. That's interesting. Well, I have to find out what those uh, black keys are for something. Yeah. Now, I'm going to take my mic off. All right. Because not only is it Christmas, but it's your birthday and oh. I have a gift for you here. Oh, my word. What um, could it possibly be under $10? No, nah, you'd be surprised how much oh, this cost. It's cost more than 10 bucks, <laughs> Absolutely baby. Absolutely astound. All right. So the Eagles. No, here's your present. Oh. Oh, it's a box. Oh, thank God. Yeah, you haven't got a box. No. It says Marty on it. It says Marty. It's yours. It's a present. It's personalised. This is your birthday present. It's tailored. Tailored. Is it a cup? Have a look. It's a cup, isn't it? <laughs> Just have a look. I bet it's a cup. <laughs> Just have a look. It's a cup! But what sort of cup is it? I don't know. Open it up. Get the... Okay, bubble, bubble wrap. wrap. Yeah. I love bubble wrap. You could bubble wrap it through the show. Oh... Oh, look at that. It's a Sons of Sunbury Cup, available at your nearest retailer. <laughs> I haven't thought about that. Oh, that's lovely, Ken. It's Thank you. you. That's of you so and me. kind. Yes, oh, I'm aware. <laughs> well, I'm describing it to the listener. Oh, of course you are, yes. Yeah, uh, it is. Look at that. And here's part two. Oh, my word. <laughs> look at this. Look at this. A black t shirt. Good prop band here, isn't it? It's a black T-shirt with... Wow, look at that. What Abbott like and Costello. <laughs> no, Laurel and Hardy. Laurel and Hardy. Yes. Oh, we love Laurel and Hardy. We do. What um, size is that? Large, because you've lost a bit of weight, so it's, well, okay. it'll fit you. Don't worry about that. Yeah, all right, fantastic. That's wonderful. Thank you so much. That's very, very kind of you. That's very, that's Thank right. you, Ken. That's quite all right. That's not like you. No, I put some thought into it this year. That's what I mean. Yeah. Last year I got you cherry chocolates. Not so good. Oh, yes, you did. No, I like them. They're expensive. Buddy. Yeah, no, wow. I like them. Oh, yeah, the Hague's ones. Oh, 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 you didn't oh, tell me how expensive something. they were. Oh, give yeah, me some are. chocolates, you said. They are. Anywhere in particular? Yeah. Oh, yeah, chocolates are us. <laughs> yeah, Hague's. <laughs> in Turak. Yeah. yeah. That should have given it away. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, they, they do. They do see you coming there. All right, the Eagles. Yeah. Now, I know very little of the Eagles. What do you know? Uh, well, I don't really know anything. <laughs> so that is, you're not lying. Yeah. They're not my favourite band, I tell you that much. Really? Too perfect. I'll tell you what I do know. <laughs> too perfect. They are. Too, too, too perfect. When they did their Hotel California tour, which went for years. Yes. This is how rigid they are in their set list. Mm. They engraved the set list on the mixing desk. Mm. So they did not change one song the mm. whole 
five years or whatever it was mm. that they did to I don't like that. I yeah, like you like to throw in a couple of songs that I'm not expecting. Like having a gila or Yeah, that would be great. What would you throw in? Uh, well, why, why couldn't they put in, uh, you know, another Joe Walsh gem? Mm. You know. From a different album? Yeah, yeah. Like Witchy Woman. Witchity Woman, is it? No, it's Witchy Woman. Is it really? Yeah, not Witchity. <laughs> it's not Witchity Grubber. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's, that's it's midnight, Witchy Woman. That's Midnight Oil. <laughs> or maybe the classic Desperado. Yeah, yeah. Who could forget the great Midnight Oil classic Witchity Grub? Yes. <laughs> Ooh, witchity grub. Yeah, nice. All right, so I'm get, this week we're doing something different. You're going to tell me yes. about the Eagles. Well, the Eagles were first formed when they met, <laughs> you <Good>. see. <laughs> and Glenn Fry, he was a guitarist. What, what, what business did he have? <laughs> what did he have? He worked at a shop selling fish and chips. <laughs> right? Yes. He was a fish and chip cook <laughs> and... Don Henley dropped in yeah. to say, no one will talk to me because I'm a drummer who sings. <laughs> right. yes. The only one who'll talk to me is Phil Collins and he's a pain in the ass. <laughs> so he needed someone yeah. and he said to him, do you happen to write songs, do you? And he said, yes, I do. And, and, and uh, Glenn, Glenn Fry said, I, I, I write it's a lot of easy, songs. It's not easy, is it? It's no. Not, it's not easy. I write a lot of songs. And Don Henley said, well, so do I. Let's get together with a few other people. Joe Walsh. Now, there's a moustache. I don't think Joe Walsh was in the band first. No, he didn't go in the band first. He was working at the fish and chip shop. <laughs> he was at the back. At <laughs> the back. Right. He, he was at the back and he, he was a filleter. What right. was he? He was a filleter. <laughs> His yeah. job was to fill it. <laughs> 24-7. Fill out the orders? Crazy filler. And he... Anyway, there were, there were lots of people in the band. Um, there, were, it, there was a guy called um, BJ Souther, who was a friend of Don Henley's, and he was a great songwriter, but not a great performer. So uh, he used to write a lot of the songs, uh, a lot of the Eagles songs. This is actually true. And... Um, Anyway, they, they hit upon a thing and then they, they came out with the first album. Guess what they called it? Meet the Eagles. <laughs> no, that had been taken by the, the, the... So they came up with an album called The Eagles. Ah. It was a breakthrough. <laughs> it's good. Yeah. It's to the point. Yes. I no. like it. And that, that, that came out and that, that went all right. And they were very California sort of, you know, kind of... Solid, safe, almost country rock. Yeah. You know what I mean? You could say they invented country rock almost, couldn't you? You could if you wanted to. Um, You'd be wrong. You'd be completely inaccurate, but but you could say it. A lot of people say things. Uh, But anyway, so they did a few, like Desperado, big album. Um, And then uh, On on the Border was another one. Oh, yeah, I remember these albums. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they uh, they hit upon Hotel California. Now I've actually seen Hotel California, not not the album I've seen the album obviously, but I've actually seen the hotel called Hotel California, and it's um, it's at Santa Monica. Really? Yes. And is it that on the cover? It's not the one on the cover, but it's called the Hotel California. It's at Santa Monica, right at the end of the pier, in Santa Monica, oh. and it's now hidden by another building, so it's very hard to see. But it's uh, it's not a particularly flash looking joint. But I think that was sort of the point. The hotel that they describe in the song is not particularly lovely. You know, it's not not somewhere that you book through. Yeah, you why know. wouldn't they um, cash in on that? What's that? On the Hotel California name. Well, you have to remember this is 40 years ago. Hmm. They did at the time, I imagine. Okay. But now, not so much. Do you know the original title for Hotel California was Mexican Reggae? Yeah. Did that, you know that? N- no, I didn't. I didn't know that, but I reckon I probably could have guessed it after a year. <laughs> There's guess. not one reggae song on the album, nor is there anything Mexican on oh, that album. Yeah. What an amazing album, though. I think it probably stands as the finest rock, soft rock album maybe ever made. There's really not one dud. No. On the entire it's album, just it's glorious soft songs. Cock album. Soft rock. Oh. Yeah, I, it is a very good album. Very good album. From the beginning to the end. Like the opening track, Hotel California, amazing, right through to The Last Resort. What an epic. Great solos, great guitar solos. Beautiful. 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 Very, very great work, great lyrics, amazing harmonies. Uh, that, that really was, I think, the Eagles' um, finest point, was their just beautifully blended voices. They're Sergeant Peppers, wasn't it, really? 
Yeah, they they weren't on that, but um, but that sort of thing, yes, but with more niceness and talent. It was um, was that long headed, long headed, long haired bass player playing in the band at that stage? Which one was that? Uh, well, he's in it. He's in the band now. Because there was a lot of trouble with the Eagles, line-up wise. Oh yeah, Bernie Leiden. Yeah, he was on Hotel California. Because if mm. you see the video, that's him playing the solo with Joe Walsh. Mm. But apparently, Henley and uh, Feldman. What's the other guy's name? Uh, Fry. Fry. Ben Fry. Henley yes. and Fry. They thought they should get more money because they wrote them. Well, not only because they wrote them, because they thought they were better. They just thought they were better. We're the Lennon and McCartney of this band, mm. so we want more money. Mm. And Bernie said, I don't think that's right, and they kicked him out of the band. Well, they brought in a new guy who sang very high, and mm. I can't for the life of me think of his name, but he sang stuff like um, Pretty Maids All in a Row and um, uh, Take It to the Limit, high voices. They never still, let him introduce the band? No. Yeah, exactly. And people will go, I miss that. And the dog will go, I love this band. <laughs> but they, um, they toured a lot. They didn't seem to be happy people. Like I saw Don Henley along. live two years ago at Mount Dunedin here in Victoria. Mm. And it was a very, very good set, very solid, very good, but just not a lot of joy mm. about it all. Do you know what I mean? It's just, I don't know. I agree. Oh, well, that's why I don't like them. I think you could stay at home and listen to the record and make no difference. Mm. Live, they don't really give much. Well, expensive to see them live. Yes. 600 bucks. Yeah. 600 bucks. I, I tried to book a ticket, right? And I said, well, how much is they reserved? They said $600. And I said, oh, God, I'm not made of money. I'm, I'm not a wealthy man. I said, what about B reserved? They said, well, you know, B reserved, that's $420. It's mm. still a lot, you know. They said, we've got restricted viewing that's behind a, you know, a big pole or something. That's $300. And behind I, a tree. I said, to hell with that. I'll stay home. They said, stay at home, $120. <laughs> that was well, very dear. Expensive place. That's a lot, of, a lot of money. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've seen uh, Bruce Springsteen at Hanging Rock. Fantastic. You liked it? Oh, also, the Eagles. You liked Hanging Rock or I Bruce Springsteen? Uh, it's a great venue to see a... An act. Eagles never uh, played Eagles, there. Eagles played Eagles, there. Eagles did play there. And it there. rained. Ah. Uh. Rained. Which could just make it worse. It would be like listening to the CD in the shower to mm. me. Yeah. But Joe Walsh. Now, the, he, he added a bit of spice. Yeah. Fantastic guy. Yeah. Great album he made called Analog Man. Mm. Produced by um, uh, Jeff Lynn. I, I got an album called Inalog Man, <laughs> where there's this guy actually inside a log. So everything sounded like that. And there were spiders and ants and a caterpillar. That sounds like a Neil Young album. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he, for some reason, him and Jack White from the... Bla- uh, no, Joe Black and Jack White. That's not right. Yes. <laughs> from the White Stripes. Right. Which That's not his name, Jack White, because why would it be Jack White? Not, Gre- not Dave no. Gray. No. no. Ugly man. Oh, ugly Dave Gray. That guy. Yeah. No, he's not in it. No. Uh, but they recorded through the old technology where you record direct to disc. Mm. Now, it sounds horrible. They're scrambling. Mm. And you know, like that, mm. your voice sound. Jimmy Crack. And on. they do it. Like, yeah. And they release it. And they wonder why they're not selling records. Who's going to buy that? Well, Bruce Springsteen's album in Nebraska, he recorded on a bus. On a Tascam 4 track. And, and in his hotel room. Yeah, on a Tascam. And people say, can we help you? No. Can't like we, you know, we're with you on the bus, Bruce. You know, like we're all touring an album there. Can we help him? No. No. I'm just going to do it up the back. You guys just play backgammon. He's like that. Up the front. He's like it's that. hard to play backgammon at the front. Anyway, so the Eagles had huge success with Hotel California. Massive, great songs, lots of singles, very, very clever, beautiful music. And then they did The Long Run. Oh, and aptly titled. Yeah. Four months to get a kick drum sound. Yeah. Unbelievable. Well, they had to get the bass player's head out of the drum. <laughs> that was catching someone, on. Someone, someone, someone that, was that, 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 be, that was becoming in vogue to put the head in the drum then by that point. This gets a nice sound. Yeah. Yeah. It's hard to get the mic in there. But they also uh, were blowing cocaine up at Don Henley's butt. Who doesn't do that now? <laughs> yeah, Again, right. also in vogue. Trendly. Yeah. So that had that had a couple of big hits on it. That was Heartache Tonight was on that. Mm. And um, The Long Run. 
mm. was on that as well, another big hit for them. So they certainly kept the hits coming, but by this stage they hated each other so much that they had to be disarmed before they went on stage. <laughs> and they used to have to go through a metal detector. <laughs> Don Henley had a had an explosive device up his ass, <laughs> which was the reason why the cocaine wasn't working. <laughs> yes. I can't get it past the bomb, Don. <laughs> well, you're not trying. Oh. Yeah. And then and what happened? Then they broke up, I think. They broke up, then they got together again, then they broke up, and then they got together again and put together the second longest album in the history of the horrible world. Horrible album. Is, that's a horrible album. Admit it. You didn't like it? That's too perfect. That the album. last road out of Eden. Oh, that is a horrible album. Well, the opening track, is I'm good. a huge fan. Good. One song. Yes. It's called uh, No More Walks in the Woods, and yeah. it's a beautiful harmony. Oh, is that the harmony one? Yeah, glorious. Mm. No music at all, just mm. the harmony. Mm. And that's actually based on a poem. Wow. Um now, he did that live, that No More Walks in the Woods. Just uh, him? Yeah, well, hard. <laughs> Seeing all the parts. Hard to do that live. <laughs> uh, well, oh, yeah, oh, no, tricky. Oh, no, oh. the whole band did it and it was very, very good. But it, but it was sort of a little bit out of context for everything else because it was so much. Although I did a couple of other songs from that album. Just Too Busy Being. Just Too Busy Being. Rich. Um, anyway, great song as well. But there was a lot of crap on that album. But it was it was like, I, I think it's a shame that it was their last album because it wasn't their best album, although there were standout tracks on it. But it certainly exemplified their beautiful harmonies mm. again. Then Glenn Fry died, unfortunately. Oh, yeah, he did. Too. Yes, he died and it broke Don Henley. Um, he, he, he was, even though they'd had their stinks, goodness mm. me, they'd oh. had countless punch-ups over the years and they didn't agree about lots of things but they certainly worked together and I think Don Henley sort of went oh well that's the end of that and that is the end of that really but then he's touring on himself he had a fairly solid solo career as did Glenn Fry. Glenn Fry, The Heat Is On uh, the Miami Vice theme great um, song Heat Is On yep great song and um, Don Henley had some wonderful um, wonderful oh, hits Boys of Summer Boys of Summer um, Last Worthless Evening um and a, a big hit um, was The End of the Innocence, but that actually wasn't his song. That was a Bruce Hornsby song. Is that right? Yeah, Bruce, like Hornsby, Bruce wrote, Hornsby Yeah, he wrote that. Don Henley made a big hit out of it. But um, oh, the Eagles, look, though, if you just wanted to have something on in the background with dinner going and nothing that was going to really sort of jar and it was just going to be beautiful, smooth music all night, that was the Eagles. Now, it sounds easy and it sounds boring, but it's very hard to do. Mm. And they certainly had a lot of hits, so you can see why people go and see them. But I, oh. I just don't share that enthusiasm because I like, I like a guitarist to, you know, play an extra couple of bars solo or trip over on the stage and fall into the drums and that's what I like. I like the who. You see, I like trouble. I like to go to see a concert and not know what's going to happen. You know, when people come and see you live, yeah. you never know what's going to happen. <laughs> I may not even show no. up. No. Sometimes you don't even go. No. Sometimes I trash the piano. Sometimes you're waiting outside trying to get in. <laughs> that's right. With nothing but five bucks in your hand and cocaine straw hanging out of your ass. <laughs> that's right. Nothing else. That's right. Hmm. So that's good, the Eagles. You did a really good job there. In fact, some will say better than me. Don't say that. I didn't like it that format. I prefer it the other way where right, I can I, make I, things up. Well, all right, next time I'll, I'll uh, tackle... So we're doing a film. Yeah. What's our movie today? Our movie is uh, Captain Phillips. Ed Phillips? The host of My Generation? No? No, no. Uh, Steve Phillips, the Melbourne footballer? Well, I doubt that I would know that if, even if it was true. I believe the guy that married the Queen. Philip? Yeah. <laughs> Philip Phillips. <laughs> Could be. McVee, McVee. No. Um, I think mm, that you different. don't know his name. I think his name is Captain. Captain. <laughs> well, everyone calls him you Captain. really are. You really are, you know, sort of setting in concrete what your kid's going to do for a living if you give him a name like that. <laughs> that's right. Like, what about that guy, Mr. Antenna? <laughs> yeah. Right. Absolutely certain to go into the antenna That's business. Right. You know? Exactly. What about Mr. Smoke Detector? <laughs> Same story. You know, I work Mr. Antenna's wedding. Oh man, terrible ceremony, but what a reception! <laughs> All right. Okay, so tell me about Captain Phillips, Kenneth. All right. Now I'm looking even at the DVD cover. Even. What's it say? X rental, fifteen dollars ninety-five cents. You know, you could have downloaded it for nothing. I know, but it, do, do you? It makes me feel dirty. Well, you must feel dirty oh, all the time because you do nothing but I'm do downloading that. porns. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> no, no, I don't like to download. You don't now? No. What happened? Well, I've got everything. <laughs> There's nothing left to get. No. All right. 
Now, Captain Phillips, so yes. you, even in this, it does not say his name. It must be something. It just says Captain Phillips. Is it a true story? Yes, it is. So he must have had a name. Yeah, well, let's, just, let's go with that. But at no stage here, even on the CD, DVD itself, is any reference. So let's call him Tom. Tom, as in Hanks. <laughs> Okay, well, that'll make it easier, because at least we know who we're talking about. Yeah. Tom Phillips. Now, so, are you comfortable to start now and have be interrupted by the break music in about three minutes? Yeah, let's do that. You want to do that? You sure or not? All right. <clears throat> All right, Captain Phillips. Okay. Is, uh... He hit his head in a rock. No, 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 that's the other movie. We're okay. back on Captain Phillips. Okay. He's a captain. In the army? No. In the navy. He's a navy man. <laughs> It's a he's a seaman. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and yes. he's in charge of a, a ship. A naval ship. Naval ship. A big, like, warship or something. Yeah. Uh, not a, I wouldn't say a war. No, it's not really a warship because they, they do have some weapons, but not so much. What weapons? They have one of those guns on a... A Gatlin gun. Gatlin gun. Gatlin, Gatlin. No, that's in a plane, isn't it, when you shoot it down the bottom? No, it's actually the original machine gun in the old west, but it doesn't matter. So oh. this boat has a, has a gun on it? Yeah, yeah. What kind of boat is it? Uh, it's a ship. Is it like a cargo ship? <laughs> yes. So he's that's not in the Navy? <laughs> he's in the Navy, but he's working. It's a uh, naval the... cargo ship. Now you're getting it. Really? Yeah. Now What's it got... called? It's uh, called the Santa Marie. They didn't name naval boats like that. They were oh. always the, you know, the uh, SS something. Oh, the SS Santa Marie. Okay. Is that right? I don't know. You're always telling the numbers, story. Numbers. No. Uh, oh, right, SS Santa Marie. So, the other side story yeah. is in Samoa. <laughs> Samoa. <laughs> Samoa, yes. There's some Samoans. No, not Samoans. Uh, Sudanese, Sudanese. In Sudan. Let's not, let's, let's not uh, cast aspersions on the Samoans. Okay. They're great people. In Sudan, yes. Yeah, the Sudanese Sudan. who live in Sudan, yeah. yes. And they are under this drug lord. Okay, in the Sudan. Yeah, and he's telling them all, you, I need pirates, I need pirates. You need pirates. Yeah, now whoever, whoever he gets. But I don't want to be a pirate. Whoever he gets to be a pirate gets, yeah. a, gets a, bit, a couple of gold So coins. they're all knocking their eye out and putting a wooden leg <laughs> on. Looking for parrots. Getting a parrot. <laughs> yeah. Give me that parrot. Why or does he want boat? pirates? Because they go, they go around and, and, and um, steal off ships. Are there a lot of ships in the desert? <laughs> They're not in the desert. I They're think you'll find Sudan in this. See, you cut me off. We'll be back. You're listening to Sons of Sunbury. We're back. We're back. So you're explaining I, to me I how like Sudan... I don't like this you, this sober you. I don't like it. No, this completely landlocked desert country <laughs> called Sudan. All right. Well, I know they're Sudanese. Maybe they're in another country. Are you sure it's Sudan? Yeah, I'll have a look. Is it the possibility that it's a country in Africa on a coast like Somalia? Ah! That's what it is. And the capital is Mogadishu? Sure. It is? No, because I was thinking Sudanese, but you're right. Somali pirates. It's all, <laughs> that's right. Okay. All right, you could have stopped me earlier. <laughs> Making me look like an idiot. What are you talking about? Making me look like an idiot. Oh, no. See, we are Somalia. (laughs) It's written on the cover. (laughs) Somalia pirates. Yes. All right, based on a true story. So he he said to them, Somalia are pirates, the other guy's not. That's right. Okay. Tom Hanks, nothing to do with pirates. No, No. he's out in a non naval cargo ship. Yeah. Still called a captain. All right, so he's the, 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 the head of the pirates. He's on the head. He's saying to the people, Yeah. I need pirates. You need money. Let's get together. What are we going to do? Everyone's putting their hands up. Pick me. Pick me. Choose me. Yeah. This guy gets yeah. picked. He's the guy that's uh, going to be the main pirate in the, in, the, in the show. Give him a name. I don't know his name. Give him a name. Puku. Puku. Oh, fine. Puku. <laughs> Puku. All right, we'll go Puku. So Puku um, gets in his little boat. Yep. They've got a little motorboat. Puku's boat. Yeah. And he's got a few pirates with him. They're driving around looking for pi- people to plunder. People to are they? Yeah. And then they see no rape, no, but a little pillage and plunder, no problem. No rape, no rape. Well, they're men, they're not going to rape anyone. So then they s- that happens. Well, yeah, but I don't think uh, you know. You it, don't know. No, no. Out in the out in the ocean. 
all bets are off. <laughs> it's true. You it's, don't know what's going on. It's really true. There are some lonely seamen. You know, yeah. Start with the name. You like it, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, that's good. You're right. Soma- what, what are they? Somalian. The Somali. Somali pirates. Yes. They come up across Captain Phillips' ship. Do they? Yeah. How? They just pull up next to it. They've got guns. Right. They're going, whoa! Get let us on that. <laughs> All that. Yeah. Okay. Let us on the ship. And what does he say? There he goes. Piss off. <laughs> not by the chair. Not piss by off. the hair of my chinny chin chin. He, he says. Goes, piss off, pirates. Yes. He goes. Put the water guard on them. Gun on them. They put the water gun on them and they and they go away. Like Greenpeace. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Maybe it's a Greenpeace, but yes. I don't think there is a gun on it. No, I think about it. Anyway, so on a cargo ship. Yeah. They're not known for their guns. No, I don't think... Uh, he's got a gun. He's got a gun. He's got a gun. He is. Why would he be carrying a gun? Because they know about the pirates. How many crew? Oh, there's a lot of crew. There's a, there's a fair few. How many? Let's go 30. That's a lot. There is a lot. Are you sure? All right, let's go 20. <laughs> that's a few. Got, got any better than 20? <laughs> I'll say 15. 15. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, so they go away. They go back to the boss. They go, oh, he, you know, sprayed water on us. They go, hey, you idiots! <laughs> he sprayed water on yeah, us. Oh, we had to go away. Hey, you idiots! Right. Water. What's that going to do to you? Get a bigger boat. Yeah. He gives him a bigger boat. He goes, I need more pirates. Everyone's trying to get in. He goes, you, uh, Booker. Booker. You're, you're the leader. Yeah. All right. No worries. What does he look like, this guy? Oh, he's a shocker. Booker, I mean. Have you seen him at the uh, uh, Oscars? Who? Did you see him? Booker. He, he, I think he actually won an Oscar. Did he? He's never acted in his life. Uh, that'd fit in. He's skinny. He's got the bad teeth. That's, <laughs> that seems to be the rule they apply. <laughs> skinny and bad teeth. No, just never acted. Oh, ever. never acted. Yeah. Yes, that's right. Best new talent? Everybody. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. And next, the winner of the show you've never heard of either. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, so, they get the bigger ship. Yeah. Now, Tom Hanks, at this stage... He's cut- waiting out in the ocean for them, is he? Uh, no, they're continuing on to their, their drop-off point. So how do they catch up? Well, Captain Phillips mm-hmm. and all the crew, they're all relaxing. They're thinking, <laughs> we yeah, but the boat's these. still going. We showed So all the time they go back into shore, yeah. Tom Hanks it's keeps going. It's a big going. boat. It's, you know, got to go slow. No, it doesn't. Well, it does. They travel about 30 or 40 kilometres an hour. Oh, uh, you say that, but... Well, I'm telling you the I'm, truth, they do. I'm not sure about that. <laughs> they got okay. a little... They... I'll defer to you <laughs> and your, mo- your monolithic nautical <laughs> nature, Mr. Sedan. Yes. So... Sedan, you're rocking the boat. Have you seen that? <laughs> so, uh, the, the, now the other guys, they've got a smaller boat, faster. Who? It's, uh, the the guys who went to get a bigger boat have Pookie. come back with a smaller boat. Pookie. Puku. Yeah. <laughs> but you said he went to get a bigger boat. He did, he got it. So the, the, the boss said, take the bigger boat. Get, bring back some stuff. But you, but you just said it was a smaller boat. The other boat was small. Oh, well, the bigger boat is smaller than the big boat, than Tom Hanks' boat. Okay. All right. And Tom Hanks is staying with the same boat? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And he's not worried. Well, ah, we showed worry, those yeah. pirates, those idiots. We got rid of him. Hmm. So, unbeknownst to him... Up it comes, this other boat. How did they catch up to him? <laughs> they got a smaller boat. How <laughs> far away from the beach are they? Oh, who can say? <laughs> well, you can. You've <laughs> seen it. Who can really say? Well, you can, because I'm trying to work out the trigonometry. Well... You see, if if the boat's sailing past Sudan, let's say, Somalia... Somalia. Some, it's head, is it heading north or south, by the way? <laughs> north. You it's going from... You know how I know that? How? It's going forward. <laughs> okay. Let's stick with that. Okay. Thank you, Captain Navigator. All right. So where have they come from, by the way? Who? Tom. America. <sighs> if he... <laughs> 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 so he's come from America. Well, he could be... He could be coming from another place because his wife sees him off at the airport. So and I he don't flies know. to he, another port. He, yeah. Can I just... Explain to you yes. that Somalia, right. far be it for me to <laughs> criticise your immense nautical knowledge and geographical prowess, yes. Somalia is on the east coast of Africa. Mm. Okay. So what ocean is that? Pacific. Let's all pause and say a prayer for Ken. What ocean is that, Ken? 
<laughs> is there more than one? <laughs> yes, there is. What ocean is the east coast of Africa looking at? Um, think about it. <laughs> think about it. Please just tell me. No, I'm, I'm, I am not progressing until you can at least tell me you know, what I'm gonna look massive it up. ocean. I'm going to look it up on the internet. Don't do that. Just think about it. What is the, what's the east coast of Africa look like? What's north of it? What's around the other side of it? West Africa. West Africa or you've got to go across Africa? You've got to go across the land and you hit a different you ocean. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll tell you what that ocean is. Give me three oceans and I'll pick one. Atlantic. That's it. Okay, that's the West African side. That's the wrong ocean. And that's the point I'm making. That's where America is. And please remember that I didn't know there was more than one ocean. Just keep that in mind. All right, give me the other two. Southern Ocean. No, it wouldn't be that. All right. Mm-hmm. Um, Pacific Ocean. I said that and you said it was wrong. It is wrong. Well, which ocean is it? Do you know any other oceans? No. You don't know any other oceans? I don't know the Atlantic Ocean. You've never heard of that? I've heard of Atlantic Records. Yeah, that's in the middle of the ocean. <laughs> Atlantic Crossing, Rod Stewart? Yeah. Should do Rod Stewart. Um, <laughs> there's another pretty massive ocean. You know the MH370, uh, the Malaysian Airlines plane that went missing? Yes. In what ocean? Indian. <sighs> Look at you. Did I get it? You got it. Oh, right. I did kind of lead it to you. Yeah, you are. Yeah, but you said Africa. So my question to you mm. is... Yeah. If he's coming from America, mm. what I, would possibly put him on the east coast of Africa, which you simply can't get to from America? I think the point is that he was on, <laughs> <laughs> he's on a plane from America to somewhere. South Africa? Let's go and he's it. sailing north or somewhere in Europe and he's sailing south? No, I think we... North. Let's go with north. Because that's good. It's good, is it? <laughs> it's good. That's good. Because if you go, if you, if you're on the east coast of Africa and you go north, what happens is you get to what's called the Middle East. Mm. Oh, I don't want to go there. Well, no, also not good. No. Well, well, what, would, what would you be delivering to the Middle East? Oil, guns, guns, bombs. No, he's a good bloke. He, he, he wouldn't do that. Well, he doesn't know what's in his containers. Mm. Yeah, but this is a legitimate business. This is not your... Really? Yeah, this, this is... This is not your fly-by-night. No, 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 no. This is not bombs are us. This is real. Let's just say he's taking it from South Africa, mm. which is which would lead him to be going up along the coast. Good. Let's do that. All right. Because when I watch a movie, I'm not looking at geographical well, references. Well, I'm shocked. Yeah. I'm okay. looking at the character. I'm looking at actors. Okay. Storyline. Okay. Okay. Uh, all right. You know Red Riding Hood? Yeah. Where does she go? It's a grandma's house. So you knew where she was going? Yeah. So that's a pretty integral part of the story. <laughs> true. That's if true. his entire reason for being on the ocean is to sail a ship, you would yeah. want to know where he's going. <laughs> all right. Wouldn't well, you have thought? I could edit Where was Gilligan's can Island we... going? Ah. A three-hour cruise. Yeah. Nowhere. Nowhere. They were going out of Honolulu Harbour and doing a circle and coming back. They weren't going anywhere. Look what happened to them. What went wrong? Well, they were gone. Why? Stuck on an island. Why? Because they it was a, a, a mighty storm. And this storm up. took them to an island that no one knows about. Yes. Yes. I, I think geographically that would be the wrong. boats on you know on the shore of this uncharted desert isle. It is true. The boat is called SS the SS Minnow. Correct. Right. They could make a nuclear reactor out of a coconut. Yeah. And couldn't fix a three foot hole in a boat. <laughs> that's the hell. That's right. That's true. It's very true. I've never thought about that hole in that boat. And approximately how many outfits did the Thurston Howes bring? Yeah. And Ginger. She looked good every week. Mm. Not a real Ginger, by the way. <laughs> Marianne, not a real Marianne. Gig- Gilligan? <laughs> yes. One outfit. Yeah. Skipper? One outfit. That's it. Professor? One outfit. Yeah. And it was white too. Oh, the stains. Yeah. How never never, never stained. See? There you go. Now back to my movie. Uh, uh, right. Yes. So, so, they're, 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 so my question to you, mm. which I'd really need you to clarify, otherwise mm. I can't get past it. So the boat comes out to meet him. The little the book first boat, boat comes out, yeah. comes out with his mates, mm. sees this big thing going past them at 30 to 40 kilometres an hour and goes, let us up, and he goes, not by the hair of my chin, chin, chin. Mm. Sprays them with water, they get the shits and go back in. Mm. So in the time they go back in, yes. this boat has continued. Yeah. Sailing on. Mm. So not only do they have to go back in, 
talk to the warlord and explain that it didn't go great, and mm. he says, we'll get another boat. Mm. He gets in the other boat and goes back out. By this time, this boat must be 100 kilometres up the coast. Yeah. How now, do we get it? I think... I can't quite remember this, but I think they had a party. <laughs> I think they said, oh, we've got nothing to worry about. Take it down to 10 knots. Let's have a party. A party? <laughs> I'm not sure that's correct, but I seem to remember that something slowed them down. Oh. So I'm going to go with party. But I know that Tom Hanks, he had his feet up on the dashboard. Yep. Do they have a dashboard and a sure. truck? Uh, In your but, movie, they do. Sure. Yeah, take it easy, he said. Take it easy. What's the rush? Plenty of time. Mm. Now, meanwhile, mm. Puka and the other little fellas, they're going, oh, fast, fast. Mm. So they do catch up with him. Okay. Because oh. there's no other boats anywhere. Wouldn't you go, let's just get that boat, that one over there? <laughs> That's exactly right. That one with all the diamonds on it. Yeah, yeah. That small boat that we could rob. Now, let's go for this big steel um, ship. All, all right. right. So then they pull up next to it. Mm. Let us in, let us in. And he says? He goes, uh, not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. Yeah. Again, they've heard this. Yeah. They're ready. They know what it means. They start throwing up hooks with the ladders. You know, the... the oh, the grappling hooks. hooks. Yeah. I think the name is Hooked Ladders. They throw them up. Uh -huh. And the uh, Americans put on the water guns again. Yep. But this time they're zigzagging. They're missing the... They're not getting them. They're not mm -hmm. getting them. But a couple of the... Samoans, what mm. are they? Close enough. <laughs> All right, sure. Start climbing up the ladder. Yeah. You're from the Pacific now. Yep, bit okay. Like, <laughs> bit like... Um, monkeys? Monkeys, yeah. G great analogy, yeah. Monkey, nasty monkeys. Bad monkeys. Yeah. Cause these like guys, the ones from Wizard of Oz. Yeah, yeah. With the Flying wings. monkeys. Oh, they wouldn't Because they're boat. trying to get up on that boat. No, they're not going to give up. Okay. These other guy is distracting them yeah. with the thing. Yeah. They get on the boat. They take over. How? They've got guns. Right. Yep. I thought you said Tom had a gun. He had a gun. He had a gun, but he, <laughs> he dropped it. No. <laughs> Bye, fingers. Whoops. Yeah. Whoops, he said. So the entire movie's plot now relies on whoops. <laughs> yes. All right. <laughs> so then... <laughs> yes. Tommy... Yes. ...gets on the... Who? ...blower. <laughs> Tom Hanks... <laughs> Oh, okay. Captain Phillips gets on the blower and goes, quick, everyone get downstairs. Yep. We're being attacked yep. by pirates. They all go downstairs and they lock themselves in. All right. In what? In, uh, in the basement. <laughs> in the, okay, in the basement. <laughs> of the ship. All right. Not yeah. the hold. No. Well, it could be. And okay. they're, they're, they're hiding. Hiding. Basement, yes. <laughs> so they, the, the uh, pirates... Is that where they kept the wine? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good for them. Lucky. In the furnace. <laughs> yeah. That, so they're, um, by this stage, the uh, Puki is saying to the American, mm. uh, Tom Hanks, he's saying, uh, where's all the money? Where's all the money? Mm. Tom Hanks goes, oh, I've got a couple hundred bucks here. Take that, mm. leave, everything will be right. He goes, mm. no, 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 I know you've got more somewhere, somewhere. I've got no more, I've got no more. Oh, you got some. So. I saw some. <laughs> I saw something. That's I got right. nothing. I saw something. So yeah. he goes, what's your name? Phillips. He goes, where are you from? He goes, I'm American. What about your parents? Irish. He goes, I call you Irish from now. So for now on, Captain Phillips now Do you Irish. want to call him Phillips? No. <laughs> Too easy. Well, let's call him Irish. Yeah. Come on, Irish. A little bit rude. A little bit rude, I thought. Are you sure? Yeah. It's a bit degrading. You know, Irish. So, Captain Irish. Okay. So, they go downstairs to mm. look for the... Money. Mm -hmm. One of the crew members smashes a bottle. It's in the dark. The pirate cuts his foot open. Oh. That's the start of their bad luck. Because now they can look after the man with the sore foot. Who does? The, the, the pirates. And they make Captain Phillips do it too. Mm. All right. So then everything seems like it's going to be okay. Because mm. they go, oh, we're not going to get any money here. We're going to get off this ship. You guys make us sick. Goodbye. Mm, mm. We're going to take that lifeboat. Mm. And this lifeboat is one of those new modern ones. It's, you know, like a, a smaller boat, really. Mm. And they go, oh, good riddance. Come on. Piss off, pirates. And they go, <laughs> bye. Pirates. Good title. Yes. We're taking Irish with us. Oh, Whoa. why? There's a twist. Why? Because then you won't blow us up. Not about ransom. No, they don't, they don't discuss ransom. They say, we want to be safe. 
Then when they get on the little boat, hmm. then they start thinking, oh, we could make some money. Hmm. So we're going to. It keep... occurred to me straight away. Yeah, I know, but you're not. You know, you're a bit smarter than a. Oh, I don't know about that. Samoan pilot. So. <laughs> not from Samoa. <laughs> okay. Samoa is a tropical <laughs> island in the Pacific. <laughs> <laughs> on the other side of the world. Sydney's? <laughs> Sydney's. It's in the middle of Africa, no, no, landlocked no, no, desert country, no, northern no, no, Sudan. Have a look. Uh, Somali. You've said Somali. Let's just keep them as being Somali. So, Somalian. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Didn't I just... So they're on the little... All right. They're on the lifeboat. Yes. And uh, they go, we want $1 million. Why? You get your captain back. Okay. And the guy goes, one million dollars. Hmm. Hey, see what I'm doing? Yeah, I'm with you. Hey? Austin Powers thing. Yeah, thank you. Anyhow, so they go, yeah, yeah, sure, whatever. But they're not going to pay the money. Who? The government. They don't want to do that. They said, we'll blow up the ship. Don't worry about Captain Phillips. Hmm. Blow him up. And this guy goes, no, don't blow him up. I, I think we can get him. I think we can get him. Who... The, the good guy of the government. You know, Where did he come from? Oh, he was there. He goes... Uh, <laughs> he was there. <laughs> he okay. Goes, he's at the back. Yeah. He's got... <laughs> Captain Phillips my friend. All Bad, right. Sean. So he goes, uh, let me take a couple of snipers and we'll, we'll bump them off. Mm. And Captain Phillips will be right. Now, we go for a lot of things here where, ooh, you nearly shot the captain. Uh, oh, we didn't get anyone. Then they shoot one of them. Good. And then... Captain Phillips jumps out of the boat. Does he? In the water. They're trying to shoot everyone they are that's not Captain Phillips. They get him back in the boat. Right. They're going to kill him. Who are? There's, there's Samoans. Sam, Sam, Samoan. <laughs> the pirates. They're going to kill him. That's it. We're hey. gonna, no more. Forget your million dollars. We're going to kill you. Why? We're going to kill you. Because at they're this stage, men. They're vengeful men. It's all over for them. They know that. They know that. Well, what good's it going to do on killing him? But, uh, revenge. They don't like him. But he hasn't shot at him. He's he hasn't done anything, but they don't like the whole thing. They got, they got maybe no they didn't like Forrest Gump. They got no money. They got nothing to go back to the drug lord. Oh, in big trouble. Uh, yeah, we're, yeah, we're dead. Yeah, we're dead, yeah, basically. Yeah, no, he's a pain. That and guy. then this guy rings up and goes, listen, mm. we've got the elders on shore. Mm. So you give us Captain Phillips. We'll take you to the elders. They can take you away and punish you. Otherwise, you'll spend the rest of your life in jail. So you can either go to shore and be punished or stay with us and be punished. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. That's exactly so right. So if choice. Yeah. Well, you might as well be at home. So. Watching the go, Eagles for 120 bucks. Yeah. They're going, all right. Yep. We'll do that. Captain Phillips gets out. They take him straight away, arrest. arrest. And they arrest the elders too. So everyone's arrested. All the pirates, all the drug lords, everyone's gone. <clears throat> then Tom Hanks. Hanks goes, gets wrapped in a blanket. A blanket. Yeah. And starts sobbing, greatest oh, acting you've ever seen. Oh, man. That's it. That's the end of the movie. And that's the end of the film. That's it. <whistles> Heavy. Oh, yeah. You like that movie? Well, it's hard to tell from that. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe I do. What are we doing next week? I don't know. You know what I mean? I thought we were going to do that little acting thing again. Oh, God, <laughs> I hate this so much. All right, go on. I thought you liked it. You said it was the best part of the podcast. All right. Is it or not? No, go on. I'm I'm Irish. I'm Captain Phillips. Are you? Yeah. And you're Buku. Okay. Buku. All right. Get in the boat. <coughs> I'm already in the boat. Thank you. <laughs> Cut. That was easy. That was one of the shorter, well, shorter ones. Shorter than I thought it would go. I love that one. All right. Well, next week. Oh, you're right. We're nearly finished. See. Next week we're going to be looking at uh, one of our favourite acts, Queen. Oh, I love Queen. Oh, I've got. Queen facts coming out of my... You do. Yeah. And uh, are you happy to continue with the movies? What yeah. I, you, you sound very tired. You're I right? am tired. Why are right. you tired? Oh, working. Busy time of the year. Whoa! Here's our goodbye music. It's I very similar to our hello music. You notice that? You want me to reverse it? I don't know if you can. Oh, OK. Anyway, I'm going to go and go to Samoa and see if I can find any Sudanese that have been to Somalia. <laughs> Captain Geography. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs>